So today we have Kathleen Chin from Loma Linda University School of Dentistry. Kathleen, how are you doing today? Hi, I'm doing great. Yeah, I just have a little cough, so and a cough drop in my mouth. So don't mind that, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's completely fine. Uh, whatever you need to be comfortable is cool with us. Honestly, we're good. So if you can go ahead and give us a brief summary of your dental school journey. So where you're from, where you went to undergrad, what you major in, and did you or did you not take a year off? Okay, so I graduated from University of California, Irvine. I'm from the LA area, the suburbs, um, Arcadia to be specific. And I majored in human biology and I minored in psychology. Mm -hmm. And I did not take a year off. Okay. Went okay. Straight in. <laughs> okay. And so I'm sure as most of our viewers know, in order for you to go straight in, that means you have to have a pretty good GPA, pretty good DAT score. And you know, a lot of people are taking that DAT actually like right around this time. So I wanted to ask you what was like, or what is your number one like DAT tip? for the uh, pre-dance out there? Use DAT boot camp. That saved my life. <laughs> yeah, I did not make the smartest choice. I only studied for three weeks during wow. my winter break. Yeah, it was because I my school, uh, UC Irvine, is a quarter system school. Mm -hmm. So then all the breaks we have off. And then I decided to take a January um, DAT. And yeah, I had finals mid-December and then I was just like, okay, I got to study for a DAT the next day. <laughs> so I studied for three weeks and I took it. Wow. Yeah. That's it was not the smartest choice looking back, but that's okay. what I <laughs> but, but you say DAT boot camp was like the number one thing. Yeah, it was for me. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And so um, did you kind of like, or does your school offer any type of like pre-dent programs so that pre dents can kind of like show their face at the school so that, you know, when application season does roll around, uh, the school will be more familiar with them. Like, do they have any type of like a pre dent day or anything like that? Yeah, UCI, um, we don't have like pre anything majors, but we did have a pre dental society like club. And then they do invite a lot of the representatives from mm -hmm. uh, dental schools to come in. And I know that they have like a, I think it's a pre-dent day. I think that's what it's called, but they invite all the administration people from California to come. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And okay. I know there's also a dental frat on campus, but I wasn't a part of that, so I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. You just skipped all yeah. of that. Okay. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> awesome. And so, so you took your DAT, obviously you did well. You got your interview at Loma Linda. And so how was your interview day? It was super chill. It was the chillest interview I went to. Uh, total, I was in and out for like, in like two hours. I wow, think. that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I had like a 1 p.m. interview, so I got there, and you go to the administration office, and then they tell you to write like a quick prompt for 30 minutes, and then the interviewer called me in. I talked to her for 40 minutes, and that's considered long, apparently, because some people were out in 20 minutes. And yeah, it was super chill. I was just talking to her about like photography for <laughs> the whole half the interview. And oh, yeah, so you're a photographer? Like, wow. I do enjoy photography a lot. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Quick question. So now that you're in dental school, are you still able to keep up with that hobby? Um, a little bit less now, but I do still have free time. Okay. It's just, it's different from undergrad though. Okay. Okay. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. And so, um, you know, me and you spoke about this a little bit earlier, but I want to ask you, what made you like finalize your decision with regards to like going to Loma Linda? Uh, Loma Linda is a Seventh-day Adventist school. I'm not SCA, but I am Christian, so that's Part of the reason why I chose this school mm -hmm. and also location wise it's in SoCal and I'm from SoCal and it's also the cheapest school I got into <laughs> so yeah that was a major mm -hmm. factor awesome yeah. awesome that's fair that's <laughs> very fair I think that a lot of people um you know I never tell people like to base their decisions solely on price yeah but you know whereas 
I'm going to Tufts and I love Tufts. Amazing school. But I'm I'm leaving with a lot of debt, you know, and and, and yeah. it's stressful. It really is stressful. So yeah. Uh, you know, I think everybody thinks about it, but I don't think that you should solely make your choice on debt or mm-hmm. cost or whatever, but it definitely should play a factor uh, amongst your entire decision, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. And so you're in your first year now. Um, and granted, I know it's a little bit, not botched, but a little bit, um, uh, it's a little bit different because of the whole virus situation going on right now. But how has your first year been as far as like, your classes, like, are you able to go into clinic? How's your uh, your first year been in general? It's been really great. Uh, there's actually been a curriculum change uh, okay. this year for Lomonda, so our schedule's completely different from our upperclassmen. Okay. We're kind of the guinea pig class, so yeah, but basically um, the new curriculum, it's designed so that first year is by the end of your first year you're gonna have the same skill set as the rda and then by the end of your second year as like a dental hygiene wow. yeah so that was the goal but i like practically it's still in the works okay um, that's fair I mean, yeah that's fair. <laughs> yeah so a lot of the problems we have in our class right now comes from this curriculum um so what they did was make it into kind of like the uop helix curriculum where everything is going by systems for the science classes so we're taking physio anatomy histology like an anatomy lab and microbiology at the same time and then we're learning one system across all of those at the same time mm-hmm. so it's a lot of information that we're taking but at the same time it's a little better in my opinion because there's like similarities like similar information across the classes so you don't have to study as much Mm -hmm. but people have different opinions on this so yeah and then we're also taking radiology as first years Mm -hmm. traditionally it's taken as a second year class and the goal was that we'll get our credentials to take x-rays in california by the end of this year with the whole COVID-19 thing, I'm not too sure anymore. Right. Um, yeah, and then we're on clinic assisting the third and fourth years. Okay. Yeah, okay. so that's been really awesome. And so do you have like a, like a certain class that kind of like mandates you all to go and assist? Or is it kind of just like, if you want to do this, you can come and do this. If not, you don't have to. It's a class. It's a new class. So um, we all got trained up on Axiom. Um, yeah, the, that's what we use. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we all got trained up on how to chart, and then uh, we go into clinic, help out the D3s or the D4s. Personally, I've only helped out D4s, and it's really interesting because they uh, they do a lot of the procedures since they're about to graduate. Yeah. So, yeah, it's really interesting. That's awesome. That's awesome. And yeah. so, tell me what's, like, unique about Loma Linda, and not the fact that um, it's an SDA school, but, like, Give me something different that, I mean, of course you haven't been to every dental school, but like something that you might have talked to your other friends about who go to other dental schools. You're like, wow, I didn't know Loma Linda, like was this special, like we do this and obviously that other school doesn't. Like what's something just like super unique about the school? I think the most unique part is like this new curriculum Mm -hmm. as I haven't heard about any dental schools like having a class for their first year to go in and like assist the upper class in mm-hmm. and we're also we're also doing like a business management class as first year mm-hmm. so that's been pretty helpful I think that's if huge. you want to own your yeah own private practice and they teach like ergonomics and everything and it's so important because they were showing yeah. us pictures of people having really really bad posture Bro, it's, I was it's like, really bad it's really bad yeah. that's huge yeah that's yeah huge. so I think this new curriculum is very unique to Lomanda and yeah, it's been like there's there's its pros and cons right now, but I think in the future it can only go up. So I like that, I like that. And so if you were to go back in time and talk to your younger self, I guess this is like what, like a year and a half ago, kind of two yeah, two yeah. Years, uh, uh, yeah. while you were applying, <laughs> what's something that you would 
you know, what's that one tip of advice or like one comforting word that you would give to yourself just to make sure that you were as successful as possible throughout the application cycle? I think um, just to not stress out too much and, you know, wherever you end up in, it'll be the best fit for you. Because mm-hmm. I, was, I was having a hard time, especially I got late interviews. All my interviews came in late. So I was stressing out for like a whole six months. <laughs> and yeah, in the end, I realized that it wasn't worth the mental stress for me. Yeah. Yeah. Like, honestly, it would have been better if I just kind of removed that from my mind and just enjoyed my, you know, last year in college. Yeah. for a little bit of stressing about this this application process. So. And see, and I completely agree. And I also think, like, that same advice can kind of transfer over into dental school, you know? Like, I know a lot of our viewers, a lot of people who go into dental school are very, like, a uh, type A. Yeah. But with that being said, <laughs> you know, you're, you're going to mess up sometimes. Like, you've never held a handpiece before. Like, this is all new, so you can't stress yourself out too much you know especially yeah. with regards to things that you don't know anything about yet so so no that's yeah. great advice. great advice i completely agree and so if anybody has any questions kathleen what's the best way that they can reach out to you um they can email me at send kathleen at gmail.com um or my instagram you can dm me <laughs> at kathleen Sen, so Awesome, awesome. And of course, I'll put those in the description box below. But uh, Kathleen from the uh, Future DDS family, we want to say thank you so much for providing us so much insight today. Uh, We really do appreciate it. Yeah, thank you so much for interviewing me. I was like, wow, I got picked. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, we we appreciate you. We appreciate your valuable time, um, especially amidst all this craziness that's going on right now so we definitely it's pretty crazy it's wild it's wild wild. everybody if you haven't already uh make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button below Uh, if you have any questions for us at future dds you can always shoot us a dm at underscore future dds um and we'll get back to you as soon as possible but until next time we will see y'all later